Zap Proxy comes with a scanner that can look for vulnerabilities inside of a web application. To start, we're going to proxy the site through Zap. Go ahead and start Zap. In this case, we're using Zap version 2.7 inside of Kali Linux. After Zap starts, we want to make sure that the proxy port that Zap is listening on is the same that Firefox is sending requests to. To start with, see what port Zap is listening on. You can go to Tools and then Options or click on the gear. And in Local Proxies, by default, it'll be 8080. In our case, we've set it to 8081. So Zap is listening on localhost port 8081. In Firefox, we're going to make sure that we're also pointing Firefox to localhost port 8081, either using the manual configuration, a tool like this one, Proxy Switcher, or you can also use other proxy tools like Foxy Proxy. Zap also has an auto configuration feature. If you're only using Zap and not using other proxies like Burt Suite, where you want to switch back and forth, you can use Zap's auto config to make this easier. So now we're going to browse to the site and do that through Zap. So we'll see the site show up over here in Zap. The Matilda site runs at, in our case, matilda.local slash Matilda. So over in Zap, we're going to go to the slash Matilda folder here, right click. And then we're going to pick Active Scan from the Attack menu. That'll bring up the Active Scan dialog. And as long as the starting point is correct, which it is in this case, we can hit Start Scan. The scanner will start running and it'll look for problems inside of the page. When it finds problems, it can list them over here on the left. It can give you advice on each problem and how to fix it. Notice that the scanner only scanned this one page. To find other pages, we can use the spider. So if we go to attack and spider, now we get lots of other pages that are in the site. The spider can take a while for large sites. When you're done spidering the site, you'll have a lot more pages. And you can go ahead and do an active scan on the entire folder. So if you go back to attack and do the active scan, you can still use this folder as the starting point and hit start scan but then you'll be scanning all the pages that you found with the spider and you get a lot better coverage. As problems are found, they'll show up over here in the alerts. You can also see little flags next to the individual pages and that tells you how serious the vulnerability is that was found for that particular page. The scanner can take a long time to run, and it'll accumulate alerts as it goes. If you open up the alerts, you'll see all the pages that are affected by that particular problem, in this case 31 pages. If you click on the individual page, you'll get a lot more detail about the vulnerability on that page, a description of the problem and other information. You may need to scroll down to see all of the fields.